a dress covering cusps and other variations. We often say that every cavity is the same. That is the same basic cavity, the typical class two, such as the MOD with the line angles and gingival bevels. After the basic cavity is finished, we can then add a variety of procedures. We can cover one cusp, cover all cusps, add retentive pins, or a bale. One of the variations in the class two cavity is the internal bevel we place on the MO or DO preparation, particularly on premolars. Without this gingival wall incline, the casting could flare at the gingival as it is seated depending on how loose the fit of the casting. This, of course, would cause an overhang or an open margin. In the case of a molar, the fissures on the occlusal surface are included in the preparation. These occlusal walls tend to pull the casting into the preparation, similar to the opposing walls of an MOD, which of course would not require the internal bevel either. Even a MO or DO of a premolar perhaps would not require it if there were an accentuated dovetail that creates an opposing wall to prevent the casting from opening at the gingival margin. These scenes of preparation procedure on an ivory tooth show the typical procedure of initial reduction of cusps with the number 57 burr followed by the number 7404 burr, which places a counter bevel in a smooth and efficient manner on the lingual. It creates a counter bevel margin that has good definition and allows a bulk of gold at the margin due to the hollow grinding effect. These illustrations demonstrate the various types of cusp coverage. Tooth lettered A demonstrates typical cusp coverage of either molar or premolar. The lingual cusp, which is the functioning cusp in normal occlusion, is counter beveled, and the buccal cusp is left acute, only slightly dulled by polishing the incisal with a fine cuddle disc. Tooth lettered B shows the preparation often used on premolars, which usually do not need to show gold over the cusp. The buccal cusp is reduced from the pulpal wall to the tip, which is polished with a fine cuddle disc to dull and produce a good margin for waxing. The gold is carried about one half or three quarter millimeter over the tip of the cusp. And when it is finished with our usual disking procedure, the gold is finished so that it cannot be seen. As soon as the gold leaves the margin, it has thickness. And of course, this is not a functional cusp. If it were in crossbite, this preparation would not be indicated. Illustration C shows the typical cusp reduction of a mandibular cavity, first reduced on this inclines with the number 57 burr and with the 7404 burr. The counter bevel is placed over both buccal and lingual cusps. It is important that enough reduction is done so that there will be thickness of gold to prevent it from wearing through in ensuing years. Notice that the mandibular tooth has a rolling outline which blends into the proximal walls.